I'm recording. No, I won four bucks. I won four bucks at bingo. I'm recording. Okay, hello. Uh, I'm Tree, and I want to talk to you guys about Troy Regas and the Regas family. He's the mm -hmm. owner of the Hells Angels Corporation, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I had a dream the other night. I was like, in my dream, I was like, why can't I stop thinking or getting the feeling? Why can't I just forget about these people? Why can't I shake this feeling that there's something different about them, that there's something special, you know? And then I was in the dream going, well, um, you know, I was like, why is it that I feel or sense that your vibration and your frequency is so high and so different and so different and foreign than most people than just about anybody here on this planet and then in my dream it said because their frequencies of that family um including michael who's troy's cousin well the ones in the family that i can think of is yvonne troy's mom ingrid troy's sister kimber troy's sister farrah troy's sister her daughter i don't remember her name um sean troy's brother michael troy's cousin and Jay didn't show up in my dream as having this frequency, but in my dream, the frequency and the vibrations of their family opened up a whole new dimension, a whole new portal with like a gate, like a, like opened up a portal, a start a dimension from their frequency, from their family, opened that up. And then behind that, there was a whole nother universe with different worlds in it from different creatures, aliens, basically aliens. And then they had like these um, underneath his property, um, there was like these places where these beings that were connected to them or their world um, were like sleeping in like these pods. But each one of those people that I just mentioned of Troy's family and Troy's son, his new son, his little son too, actually two, three sons. You might think two, but no, three sons, Troy's sons. Um, and Carrie didn't, Sarah didn't show up in the, um, in the dream either, but Troy's, I forgot about Troy's children did. And each one was connected to a pod or something where they would do these beings or these aliens that were like, kind of like big snuffleupagus. Well, they were like, no, they were like reptilian. They were real big, but they were like real soft. Or not soft, they were like, nice they were like tree tree spirits kind of like or no they were like really big and they had like big eyes and they were like made out of like they were just they were emotional reptilians they were like a huge emotional reptilians or something uh but not like a lizard or snake reptilian this was more like a shark frog uh, Komodo dragon type, a uh, dinosaur type. Now this was just a dream or whatever, but still there's these other beings and they were sleeping in these pods or whatever and that are connected to his family. And so um, that his family, the people that I mentioned, Troy because his family opening up this whole other dimension or portal um, somehow connected to these other beings, which would open up our world back into a Stargate, which would bring us back into a, uh, uh, a awesome world full of so many different creations and so much magic and splendor and beauty and color and so much alienness <laughs> awesomenessness but nothing like here we have on earth but it was a stargate that basically it's just, in my dream it was like why can't i stop thinking about these people his family and, and then the dream said because his their vibrations and their frequencies open up a whole new portal which leads to a whole nother world dimension which is has a bunch of other worlds that are would be connected back to our world would bring our world back into its divine state or the, um, uh, the cosmic kingdom more than just the earth but like to um, wake up all the planets that are empty in our solar system you know would be all wake woke up you know and then all life the life would flourish on each all of those planets and then it would just go out into the co I can't remember oh but then Oh, there was more to it there. I wish I could remember. Anyhow, it was just a dream. I can dream, can I?